Hi folks, G3 here, and welcome to another edition of my journey to go green. Now, I'm taking a few simple steps to try and make my life a little bit greener. Now, I'm not professing to be perfect in any way, shape or form. This is just my attempt to try and lessen the, my impact on the environment. And there's a few little things that I'm doing to, to try and make sure that I'm uh, reducing the impact through the amount of waste I'm producing, through using less product in the first place, making sure that the goods I'm using are recyclable or they're coming from sustainable means. Now, it's not going to be perfect. When you're looking around, you're probably going to be seeing things that I'm using that aren't necessarily environmentally friendly, haven't been sourced in the best way. That's because I'm on a journey and I'm learning about these things as I go. So I want to share a few things with you about how I'm improving the way that I wash dishes and clean dishes. Now, I've already had one video with you where I've shown you about reusing the dishwater. So that's what the first thing that we're going to be doing is I've got the, the used water here from previous and I'm going to be going and saving that in the bucket I've got by the back of my door. And then I can use that to water the plants. So I'll do that now. So now that I've saved the water by the back door, I'm just going to fill up a nice bowl of hot water ready to sort of test these products and, and work through these dishes that have been mounting up. And I'm using some Ecova washing up liquid. I've been trying a few of those different sorts uh, and Ecova's working pretty well for me. I get lots of soap suds from it. Now traditionally, what I would use to use would be a sponge. Now these aren't necessarily made um, of the, uh, the right materials. The top can, can often be uh, plastic based and I really wasn't sure what was happening with those. So I wanted to make a change. So I'd look for a, um, an alternative thing to use. What I found was uh, these nun sponges, uh, which I got from the plastic free shop. I'll include the link at the end of the video. Now these ones are by Tabitha Eve. They are made from organic bamboo and cotton and they're biodegradable. There's uh, a twin pack and as you see on the back, it's a rubbed kind of surface to give you sort of different um, abrasion there. Now these will retail for round about five pound. So they're not cheap. Nun sponges are plastic free alternatives to disposable dish sponges and they're made from ethically sourced cotton and bamboo. The cotton layers sandwich uh, a naturally antibiotic and an absorbent organic bamboo core. They are zero waste and fully biodegradable. So the idea being is that you can cut them up and put them on the compost heap as I've done before. The, uh, the idea about the cotton layers, they're quilted, naturally antibiotic and highly absorbent. After quite a while of use, they start to get rather tatty and, and worn down. You're able to put these in the washing machine. So I have a couple of sponges on use. I was using one putting one in the washing machine and, and circulating them that way. So I always have one on the go and one was being washed. So you see the abrasion kind of uh, breaks it down and deteriorates it. And it's at this point then that you can cut it up and throw it on the compost heap uh, and start using a, uh, a fresh one. So to use the nun sponge, just get it wet in the same way that you would with a sponge. It's obviously absorbing the water and it is a case of holding it in your palm and using it to, to rub around the dishes. And it just naturally uh, works in the same way as a sponge, but it's got that abrasive quality on one side when you need to be able to sort of uh, get off some, some dirt that's stuck in there. Otherwise, it's just like using a sponge. But because of the size of it, it and there's not a lot of grip behind it, it can, if you're moving on bits, move out of your hand a bit, which means it can be a little bit fiddly to use. One thing I read about as an alternative is to make cotton crocheted squares to use as dishwashing cloths. The balls, a ball of the cotton will cost about two pounds and from that you can make approximately two of these squares. It was knitted for me um, by my uh, by my mum. Thank you very much. But if you go and crochet your own cotton cloth, 
and here's one I prepared earlier and one I've been using on circulation. I've got two on the go. So again, I've got one that goes in the washing machine that's dirty and there's one that I'm using for the, uh, the rest of the time. Now this, because it's a lot bigger than the nun sponge, it's easier to get in your hand to keep in position to hold things as you're washing around. So it's a lot easier to get a good, good motion with it. So on another glass, it's all wet and then I'm gripping it and able to rub around the glass but because of the size of the cloth, it's more, uh, so it's easier to, to keep in position and to hold on the glass. And you can get a nice big surface area, so I can go right into the glass to sort of wash right at the bottom and to get a good spread in there and, and to clean it thoroughly. So this, this is knitted in such a way to make it uh, abrasive on the surface. And because of that, it means that you can naturally use it to break off some ground in muck. So this particular bowl, we had gang faktong, a, a Thai dish which is very tasty, but it involves some coconut milk and butternut squash. It's gone and uh, hardened a little bit on the bowl. So let's give that a bit of a soak. But because of the abrasiveness on the cloth, I'm going to be able to easily lift that off with a little bit of a circling motion on there and the cloth. So in the, pretty much the same way that the top of the sponge would work with the abrasive quality that you've got there. There we go. Happy with that, nice and clean. So that is what I'm using at the moment to wash my dishes. A nice big cloth that I can then pop it in the washing machine and get another cloth out and start using that so we got it all nice and clean. Now. What if you've got some grime that is really caked on? Now, traditionally, I would have used a plastic brush that's got this abrasive um, part at the top that you can use to sort of scrape in and clear that off. Now, obviously this is plastic. What I have been using are these wooden brush heads with, with bristles on that the heads are removable off of the frame, which means you can use them um, in your hand to scrub dishes if you want to or you can use it via this method just latch it back on so it's nice and tight and it's contained and then you've got the good scrubbing surface you can get replacement heads for as little as two pound um, for a four centimeter one and it goes up to about three pound for a five centimeter across the bristles are made of tampica fiber which is from the agave plant which means that it's a uh, replenishable resource obviously it's not plastic uh, it's a natural product that's being used there and the wood is from an FSC managed um, woodland so it means that these are um, a great alternative if you're trying to find a non-plastic based product so to use this on, on a pan that's got some uh, grime caked in it's quite straightforward just holding the, the handle you get a nice scrub from the bristles and it will lift off, lift off the grime quite well. It's all clean, nothing on there, so that's great. After some use, obviously the bristles will start to get a little bit distorted and, and out of shape. So it's so that sort of point when you're going to need to change the, the head over and put a fresh one on and this one can be disposed of. The one thing about those brushes is they don't have a hard edge. So if you've got something that's really caked on and you want to have a bit of leverage on it, those brushes don't cope very well with that. Whereas a plastic one tends to have a hard edge on it that you're able to sort of have a good old scrape. So what I have done is bought this Eco Coconut Dish Brush to give it a go. The, the handle's made from wood from uh, FSC Managed Forest. The bristles are from coconut fiber, core. Um, and it's got a stainless steel wire through the, um, through the middle of it that the um, coconut fibre is meshed around. Obviously it's plastic free, it's free from toxic chemicals, it's naturally antibacterial and biodegradable, highly durable and made from coconut and FSC timber. So let's have a look at this. So this is what the brush looks like. You've got a nice handle to grab hold of. You've got the coconut bristles. There's quite a bit of a good resistance there. 
But what I am hoping from this brush is that you get that extra leverage if you want to try and get a, uh, a firm item out of the way. I've got some caked on rice on this on this plate and around the back, so that's going to hopefully give it a bit of abrasion to get in there. Yep, that's working. Rice goes really hard after a day of sitting on the sitting on the plates, unfortunately. That's lifting it off really well. Good, first one down. I talked about using the washing up liquid, so I tend to use things like Ecova and, and other um, products of similar similar vein. One thing I did try was a bar of washing up liquid soap. And the way that this works is that you, you'll rub it in the water to get a lather and then that will enable you to wash the dishes with the, the soap that's there. I thought it was rubbish. It didn't bubble and lather. It just made the water really mucky. It, it really didn't make it feel like the, the dishes were getting clean. It may well be how I used it. I might not have been using it properly, but for me, this was an experiment that went wrong, unfortunately, and I'm not able to use it. So I've got a bar of soap going to waste. Should be fine for hand washing, so I'm gonna use it for that instead, but it wasn't any good for dishwashing. The final thing for me to tell you about is the alternative that I've been looking for for cleaning around the kitchen and in other areas. I've been using these, these cloths in the past, so I was trying to find something that was uh, environmentally friendly and made from renewable materials. The alternative I found from the Plastic Free Shop are these Plastic Free All Purpose Cloths. They come in a pack of five and they cost, at the moment, at the time of recording, £3.25. They are 100% plant-based and the colouring on them is bio-based colour. So um, it's a natural colourant on there as well. The great thing about these cloths is that they are reasonably long lasting. You can put them in the washing machine to wash them on up to a 60 degree cycle and reuse them. The thing to bear in mind though is if you tumble dry them, it will shorten the life of the cloth. So this is what one of the cloths looks like when it's been used for quite a while and used in a number of wash cycles. So it's shrunk a bit, it's got a little bit bobbly, but it is still usable at the moment. And I'll keep using this until it totally gives up the, um, up the ghost. When it needs cleaning, it goes in the washing machine on the cycle, I get a fresh cloth out, start using that, and I keep repeating them on the cycle. It's really good. It's really effective. It is just as good as the, um, the blue cloths that I used before, but it is 0% microplastics. It's 100% plant-based. Thoroughly recommend them. They are really good. In fact, I've gone and stocked up. I've got quite a few of the cloths to, to last me quite a while because I think they're really good. So there you have it. I've taken you on a little bit of my journey when it comes to washing dishes and the kind of things I've been looking at and the alternatives. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of inspiration. I'll include some links at the bottom, things like the Plastic Free Shop and, and other places that you might find useful. But please leave some comments. Let me know what you think, whether you've been using other things, how you found the washing up soap, whether you're able to use it okay. What was I doing wrong? If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Please like it, share it, tell your friends. It would be really appreciated if I can get the message out to more people so that they can start trying some of the things that I've been using. Hopefully together we'll be able to find some things that will make our lives a little bit greener and use a lot less plastic. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.